fall before I just know her. I get the top if she wanna record it, I'll never say no, that's boring. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Now I'm here. Y'all see today's title and thumbnail. I'm going to be showing y'all how to find the perfect manufacturer for your clothing brand. You clicked on this video, you probably wondering, how do I talk to manufacturers? How do I stop getting scammed by manufacturers? How do I find manufacturers? And I'm here to tell y'all, y'all can already see this video going to be a long video. I'm going to go ahead and sit here and I'm going to explain to y'all how to talk to manufacturers, how to find the perfect manufacturer for your brand, and how to make sure that they are not scamming y'all. Y'all are new, hit that like button. So we're going to get 12K soon. You know what I'm saying? We had 11.4. The support been going crazy, bro. I just want to say I appreciate all y'all but let's get straight into this bro I bet so first things first bro. I'm gonna literally just go ahead and run y'all through a whole tutorial on how to find a manufacturer first things first if you're trying to find a manufacturer you guys probably wondering which do I go to China or Pakistan feel me if you're just now starting a clothing man most likely you're gonna be working with a China or Pakistan manufacturer I don't see that many people working with manufacturers in the US Pakistan or China you're debating on which one you want to go and no they are not the same bro I'm telling y'all China and Pakistan you guys are going to get two complete different experiences it's different for everyone it depends on what you want Pakistan you guys are going to get a cheaper price because the materials are cheaper meaning get what you pay for China has better quality than Pakistan majority of Pakistan manufacturers have bad quality bro from from personal experience and from other clothing brands telling me that as well now is some good Pakistan manufacturers that have a good quality I'm not saying all Pakistan manufacturers have bad quality but majority of them do not faster time is definitely going to be faster um that I would say they have better communication than China and they're easy to negotiate. Like you could easily negotiate their price. Like if you know how to talk to a manufacturer, you could easily negotiate that price. And I'm gonna tell you how to talk to them later on in this video. A China manufacturer would not care if you leave them, feel me? So think think about that in your head. You can't negotiate with China manufacturers because China manufacturers, like they don't care if they have you or not so that's why with pakistan is way easier to negotiate because pakistan actually cares if they lose their customers because their company may not be as big as the china company because they may not be getting as much order so they're going to need the extra money that's why a pakistan manufacturer is way easier to negotiate than a china manufacturer china manufacturers they're all set on their price unless it's like one dollar or two dollars off the bulk price China manufacturers would not budge if you if you ask them can I get a different price on my sample they will literally say no they literally don't they would not care so that's why I would definitely say if you guys want to go with cheaper costs I would definitely say go to Pakistan there's cons to that as well y'all may say okay you got fast time cheaper but what are the cons bro higher likely to get scammed can't use Pakistan with Alibaba a lot of Pakistan you're going to be texting them on WhatsApp so it's not going to be a secured connection like you could easily get scammed off of Pakistan manufacturer that's where you got to know if they're a scam or not a lot of Instagram scammers that's where you just have to know if they're legit or not this is where I would tell people do not work with a Pakistan manufacturer if you do not a hundred percent know if they're legit bro like honestly I only work with a Pakistan manufacturer if another clothing brand refers me or if I see a clothing brand owner like get pieces made from them okay so i'm like okay my bro he you know what i'm saying he got this clothing brand he got pieces from him so okay i know he legit that's the only way i will work with a pakistan manufacturer i ain't gonna lie but since they do work with third-party apps if you do work with a pakistan manufacturer you gotta be over 18 Now that's why working with a Pakistan manufacturer was kind of hard for me because I'm not 18 years old. 18 or older to use the third party apps like Western Union. I know some use Remitly and I'm not too sure about the other ones. I know there's a bunch of payment apps that you have to use. It's basically sending MoneyGram too as well. Basically sending international transfers through an app. So you got to sign up, you got to put their bank information and it's not refundable either. So you send your manufacturer, you know what I'm saying, $200 on Remitly, you're not getting that money back. I promise you, unless you know 100% sure that you're going to get your product. But you guys can also split payments. So I wouldn't be really too scared about uh, sending on a third party app. If you do know the manufacturer, you could, any manufacturer, you could always do split payments, feel me? Split payments into five payments. I do five payments of 20% with my manufacturer. So always do split payment, bro. So yeah, I don't know these people in person. They not your friend, they not your brother, bro. Always do split payments, bro. I don't care if they a trusted company, just do split payments. So that's the kind of it feel me the communication is good with Pakistan they do have less quality so it's more likely for you to get something bad certain manufacturers from Pakistan they do have some of them have good quality let me give you all the pros and cons to the China manufacturer first things first China manufacturer greatest quality like you can make anything you want like literally 
anything, bro. Like anything. The one thing I, I feel like people really go to China for is because people could trust China way over Pakistan. Because Pakistan, they're not really these big companies and corporations like China are. Because y'all already know China, you know what I'm saying? They run by some big people, bro. Like China manufacturers, they're more of a company, you know what I'm saying? They're more trying to build something. But Pakistan manufacturers, they're more of like a one owned business, you know what I'm saying? Like one person runs it with probably like 20 workers. China, bro, they have a big, they have big facilities, you know what I'm saying? And they have 100, 100, 200 plus people working. That's why Pakistan manufacturers need you more because they do not have the same amount of customers as China does. Because China, they're working with bigger companies. Like y'all already know, everything that we wear comes from China. This spider hoodie I got on is from a China manufacturer. So China, many, that's the one thing with China. China won't care if they lose you, but Pakistan will. And Pakistan will because it's over it's over like 20 staff. You know what I'm saying? They're not really a big company. Some of them are family-owned businesses. They're not like these big China companies where it's a whole billionaire running it with 200 staff. Uh, better support. Pakistan manufacturers, literally like you cash app in them. He could literally just not send it. He could not do nothing because it's not like a big... China manufacturers more but again that's not all manufacturers you know what I'm saying shout out to Pakistan manufacturers yeah I would definitely say for quality go with China if you want that top tier quality because I feel like everyone down the line would if you start off with Pakistan I feel like everybody switches over to a China manufacturer depending on what piece they want to be made not every clothing brand owner is going to stay with Pakistan so I feel like there's always going to be that one piece his brand owner wants to make that Pakistan can't make good enough so the brand owner goes on to China and then they're going to stick with China for their whole time because China, they realize that China is way better. So me personally, I would say if you have a manufacturer that's a Pakistan manufacturer and you know for sure that they're good for what you want to make, would we'll definitely go to Pakistan. They are a trusted manufacturer. For everyone that wants to start off with that nice, good quality to your brand, I would definitely say go to China. But then again, I used to work with a Pakistan manufacturer for my clothing brand, but then I switched to China because I wanted to upgrade my quality because of the Pakistan manufacturer that I was working with wasn't really that good. So it's a it's a way, you just got to wait to scale, see which one fits more with you. I made a video on this in the past, so going more in depth into it. If y'all want to see that, you know what I'm saying? The video link is in the description. After you figure out if you want to go to Pakistan or China, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to find both of those manufacturers, bro. So first things first, with Pakistan manufacturers, y'all know clothing brand owners, y'all definitely see Pakistan manufacturers under y'all comments on an Instagram post. Or what you can do, you can go to your favorite clothing brand owners page, and let's say you have statement. A bunch of manufacturers follow statement, a bunch of Pakistan manufacturers, because they always in my comments, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could go on a post right now and see my comments is filled with manufacturers texting. You can either go to my followers or you can go through the comments. But once you go to my followers, you want to type in something like clothing manufacturer, just so like what a clothing manufacturer from Pakistan would make. You could put sports in it, you could put wear, you could put clothing in it, manufacturer, type in that, and then there you will just see a bunch of manufacturers that have that name in it. So if you put sports, there's gonna be a bunch of manuf Pakistan manufacturers that have sports in it. And you could just go through each manufacturer. Those may be scams. I'm not sure if they're a scam or not because I don't use any of them. Y'all could go on that. Y'all could do that. That's another way to find manufacturers. Y'all could also go to any other clothing brand y'all want. Pakistan manufacturers always spam clothing brand. I personally suggest if you don't want to get scammed. Me personally, I would only work with a Pakistan manufacturer if someone is recommending that to me and I know for sure 100% that their quality is good. Let me give you an example. If I post it on my story, okay, these are, you know what I'm saying, five Pakistan manufacturers that are tough. People are going to trust that and I show some work that the quality is good and like, okay, this is good quality. I'm going to go and work with them. Then go ahead and work with them. The choice is yours, depending on what it, whichever you want to do. How to find China manufacturers? Alibaba.com. I'm going to go ahead and try to find a China manufacturer now. Also, show y'all how to talk to manufacturers. So, I bet so. First thing first, which I want to do, go to this screen right here. This is the main page. This is where y'all just want to search up what y'all want to get made. I'm going to go ahead and do an example if I want to make a hoodie. What I searched up to make my puff print hoodies.
print you just want to name the stuff that you want in your hoodie you know what i'm saying like the type of quality you want the type of printing methods you want and if you don't know your printing methods i suggest you learn your printing methods because you got to know what type of prints you want to do to actually get the product to life after did all that research all that good stuff i'm gonna search up puff print hoodie and a lot of manufacturers are gonna ask you what type of gsm you want it's basically like how thick do you want the quality so 500 GSM is very thick. Y'all could do the math on how it is to ounces, but all I know is 500 GSM is thick, 400 GSM is kind of like the regular hoodie, and anything lower than that is like lightweight. The higher you go, the heavier the hoodie's gonna be. A Yeezy Gap type GSM, I would say is like near 500 to 600 GSM. Y'all could go ahead and do your research on what type of GSM you want, but the higher GSM you go, the higher it's gonna cost, and the, the more thick the material is gonna be. I'm gonna do uh, 400 GSM. Now I'm gonna do 500 GSM because I want a thick hoodie. One thing to do when you're looking on Alibaba before you type any manufacturer, go to verify suppliers and make sure you guys put verify suppliers and make sure you guys put trade assurance on because trade assurance is if you scam, if you get scammed or they make something completely different to what you say, you can get your money back from Alibaba. Y'all see this thing right here? Trade assurance, make sure it is clicked. If you do not click that, then you might get a manufacturer that doesn't have trade assurance and if you get scammed, you get scammed. If you get scammed, you get scammed. I bet so y'all see a bunch of these manufacturers now they do have these pictures some of these manufacturers are not the actual manufacturer of the the brand but these are the manufacturers just put these pictures to show you like they can make this hoodie but they didn't make that exact hoodie like y'all see this picture yeah these manufacturers probably didn't manufacture this exact hoodie but they're just showing what they can make so don't don't get it mixed up with that just because this manufacturer posted this doesn't mean they made it i had a bunch of china manufacturers post my hoodies statement hoodies we could probably find one on here i seen a bunch of china manufacturers post my statement hoodies when i don't even have a china manufacturer uh, a lot of these manufacturers just put random hoodies on so just because the picture of the hoodie is here doesn't mean you're gonna get the exact quality of that hoodie that doesn't mean they manufacture that just means that they can manufacture it what i personally like to do i would take someone i want like my tech pack and everything if y'all want to learn how to make a tech pack i literally just made a video on that about a few days ago so after i send my tech pack i ask them can you show me work you have made similar to this? They will send you something different than the actual post because that's exactly what they made. It's literally like the work once you go to them, since it is a corporation, they have a bunch of like staff and everything. You're basically texting a staff member. Staff member is pulling from the company's files what hoodies they have made similar to that. So if you guys ever wondering, oh, I wonder if this manufacturer is good, make sure you ask them, can I see similar hoodies you have made? And if the similar hoodies that they have made, if you like their quality, I would say go for it. That's gotten me a lot of manufacturers manufacturers because with my agonized hoodies i literally found a brand new manufacturer and i was working with a manufacturer and i said send me the tech pack she sent me photos of hoodies you have made before not go by what they post don't go by these prices you, you want to text them and ask them what's their price dependent on your hoodie these prices don't mean nothing. definitely only use manufacturers that have trade assurance there's a lot of them with trade assurance so you don't have to like oh you're missing out on the best one but make sure you always use trade assurance i bet so once you find a manufacturer you guys want to text yeah i want to scroll down and i want to click this contact so Supplier. so this inquiry is going to come up right here and this is basically where you ask them the infamous four questions what's their moq what's their production time plus shipping time make sure you guys tell your manufacturer give them your production and shipping time so you know when exactly you are going to get your order bro moq production and shipping time sample cost china they're not going to negotiate you with nothing bro. negotiating sample cost you know what i'm saying they're not going to negotiate you but pakistan definitely negotiate if you work with a pakistan manufacturer negotiate 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 this works for pakistan and but not china you want to know the price per piece when you order in the bulk meaning if you order 50 pieces how much would each hoodie cost they can either be $20. What I personally like to do, I would like to tell the manufacturer what I want made. So I would just tell them I want a puff print hoodie. The hoodie's gonna be showing them right here with what hoodie I'm gonna make. So y'all can see right here what I typed up, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a heavyweight hoodie, including puff print and screen print designs, custom woven size tag, and a puff print hood, hood design. I want my product to look like the mock-up. What is your MLQ? What is your production time sample? And what is your sample cost? Then send it to this one. You could click add attachment, put your mock-up there, click send inquiry, and then your manufacturer will text you know what i'm saying y'all will text about the info moq all that good stuff and basically what moq is the moq is the minimum order quantity so when you're asking what is your moq you have to order a minimum of 50 pieces of whatever you order you have to order that and able for them to work on it so 
I can't order 40 pieces because one literally would not accept if I order 40 pieces. It has to be minimum pieces for both. I can see right here on the screen, y'all says two for 200 pieces and $9. And when you order more pieces, it gets cheaper. So their MLQ is $50, right? Let's say you order um 50 hoodies. It's probably gonna be $23 and $10 for shipping. So $30 total, right? It will be $30 for each of those 50 hoodies. So y'all could do the math. A lot of manufacturers have an MLQ of 50. That's why a lot of small brand owners want to go to Pakistan because of the Pakistan, you don't have an MLQ. Because let's say you drop and let, a lot of people don't have that a thousand dollars to pay on bulk. So a lot of people will run pre-order. But a lot of people run pre-order and not get as much hoodies. So then that's why they will go to a Pakistan manufacturer because a Pakistan manufacturer will give you for that low MLQ because a Pakistan is going to need you more than a China manufacturer balances out china and the pakistan i'm also going to be teaching you another way to find manufacturers that you specifically want without doing any any amount of work i ain't gonna cap bro. all you gotta do is write one template and manufacturers actually come to you so what you guys are going to want to be doing i'm going to be posting screenshots on the screen so y'all can understand me more better what alibaba actually has is a thing called rfqs and what that basically means is request for quotations so what you guys want to do is it's going to be a little screenshot on the board i'm going to show you on how to go to here Go on the screen is going to be a screen right here and you're going to be basically putting all the details to your product and what alibaba does once you press invite suppliers to quote alibaba will send a bunch of manufacturers manufacturers will literally text you if you guys want manufacturers to come to you if you guys don't want to do the looking for manufacturers you can actually request for a quotation you can enter the quantity of pieces if you guys just want a sample if you guys want to order a bulk you can have a request for a quotation basically alibaba will send this whole thing your mock-up your product information they will send everything to a bunch of variety of manufacturers and the one that wants to and the people that want to work with you are going to text you saying that they can make it and all you have to do is go through that list and see which manufacturer you want to work with you could literally respond to them can i see some work you have made similar to my request because they already know your request because alibaba sent them your request and i've did it in the past for my beanies and that's actually how i found my beanie manufacturer I, that's literally what i did for my sweats too so i would definitely say get a variety of samples i got two samples of hoodies for my agonized job i person got two different samples for two different manufacturers and i picked the best one out of both because you never really know what best quality you could get so i always suggest getting two different samples one from this manufacturer one from another manufacturer if the sample is over like 200 dollars for some basic like don't pay no crazy amount of samples no sample is not supposed to be costing that much samples um either cost the sample cost will either be like $85 to $100 and then the shipping the shipping will probably be like 50 to $60 so me personally I would not pay a sample if it's over if it's over like 160 I would say if it's over 160 and unless it has like really like the type of printing methods it really depends if it's just a simple one puff print logo and it's $160 he's taxing you bro like one simple puff print should be like 100 or 110 that is going to be the end of today's video bro i hope all you guys enjoyed today's video bro if y'all new make sure i hit that like button and subscribe um let me know down below if you guys need any more help i do have a manufacturer's list it's going to be down link down below my trusted manufacturers everyone on here is trusted you just pick whichever one you want depending on the quality if y'all new make sure I that like button subscribe comment down below what y'all learned join the discord down below if you want to pay for it if you don't want to pay for it i don't really care if you pay for it or not if you want to pay for the membership but that's on you if you want to know that knowledge or not so and i'll catch y'all in the next one they saying the fuck going on with me, I'm saying the fuck going on with them Bad man, I'ma let you know, I hit for the drip, I don't need no rent Bad bitch playing with her nosy, my brody cook him, you don't gotta spin Ay, I'm rolling raw, it made me levitate, then smack me down Yeah, the first of all, the root of all, no me, you wouldn't be around I do the Insta call and show the Rex, he know I ain't fucking around This ain't